The question says we should find the sixth term of this GP sequence. We have first term, we have second term, we have third term, fourth, fifth, we are looking for the sixth term. You know all these sequences are governed by some laws. In GP, every term multiplied by the common ratio will give you the subsequent term. So it, there is a unique number which we call common ratio. If you take that common ratio, you multiply by this, it will give you this. Multiply this with that common ratio, it will give you this. But we have to find that common ratio. Our general formula, it says every term in GP, Tn, represent every term, is equal to A r raised to the power of n minus 1. Now let us bring down our data. A is always the first term. So we say A is equal to minus 108. N is what we are looking for. The sixth term. Number of term is 6 here. Our R is the common ratio. How do we obtain this common ratio? We say that value, if you multiply it with this, it will give you this. As well, if you multiply the second term with that common ratio, it will give you this. Definitely, the next term divided by the term before it will give us this common ratio. Minus 12 divided by minus 36. A term after divided by the term before it will always give us this common ratio. And this is equal to minus will cancel minus. 12 can go into 12 one time. And 12 can go into 36 three times. So our common ratio is 1 over 3. Now we can substitute this information here to obtain the sixth term. And I will show you the shortcut to find uh, this sixth term. So T6 instead of Tn, because we are looking for the sixth term, will now be equal to minus 108, which is our A, uh, times R. And R is 1 over 3, raised to the power of N minus 1. Our n, remember, is 6. Minus 1 will give us 5. So this is the same thing as saying minus 108 multiplied by um, 1 over 3 to the power of 5. And this 5 is affecting numerator and denominator. 1 to the power of 5 is the same thing as 1. But 3 to the power of 5, let us see what it's going to give us. 3 to the power of Five is two four three, so we have two four three. If you expand this, is the same thing as saying this times one is still one o eight divided by two four three. So this is our answer. But what we have here is to the lowest term, so we can reduce this to the lowest term. I believe. Uh, let us use our calculator to find out one o eight divided by 27 is equal to 4, but this is negative. If you divide this by 27, you're going to obtain negative 4. Since this is equivalent fraction, we divide this by 27. We have to divide this by 27. 2, 4, 3 divided by 27 is 9. So our final answer is negative 4 over 9, which is our which is option C here. But let me show you the shortcut to answer this since you are dealing with objective questions. Remember I told you every term multiplied by the common ratio will give you the subsequent term. This is term number three. To obtain term number four, which is T4, it is the same thing as saying T3 multiplied by R. And this is equal to T3 is negative 12 multiply by 1 over 3, which is our R. And this is equal to 3 can go into 12 four times, so we have negative 4. So it means term, term number 4 is going to be negative 4. To obtain term number 6, we are going to multiply term number 4 by the common ratio again. Term number 5 is the same thing as negative 4 times 1 over 3, which is our R. And this is equal to negative 4 over 3. 
So the next term is going to be negative 4 over 3. And to obtain the term which is the required term, T6 as the required, you take this, you multiply by the common ratio, minus 4 over 3 times 1 over 3. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And 3 times 3 is 9 as required, which is the option C. Now let us look on to question number 7.